I guess. What up, chat? What up, VOD watchers? I'll I'll turn down Soul Pupper for you. So anyway, today we're gonna be reacting to. I wanted to do. I mean, I could have just watched this on my own, right? But I feel like since we're doing all the E3 stuff anyway, Halo put out a multiplayer video, and I thought I'd want to watch it. Um, with you guys, since we kind of did the whole E3 thing yesterday. Who just sub? Yo, Prodigy Mystic, yo, come here. Let me thank you real quick. Thank you. But um, this is going to be a short stream. We'll probably stream Nexomon later today. Halo just for all win. you Nexomon fans. Halo stream when? True. True. We should treat ourselves. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. to you as well. Oh, hi. And hi to you as well, St. Logic. That was awkward. And BCP2002, thank you for the prime. But... Yeah, so next I'm on later. For now, we're going to do a short stream. We're going to react to this Halo stuff. And I'm really hoping it's good. I haven't watched it yet because I was going to, I decided to do it with you guys. Are you streaming Capcom? I don't know. Maybe we could do that too. And the only reason I don't want to stay for long, I could stay for a little while, right? Maybe we just do a reaction stream. <laughs> we can react to videos like Sold Pupper, dude. You guys Sold Pupper fans? <laughs> Wait, I'm moving with it. He is sold, baby. He is out of here. But, um, yeah, I guess enough people are here that we can start the Halo stuff. So let's just start the Halo stuff. All right, dude. And first of all, let me start with this should have been in the presentation, dude. This, we're a reaction streamer now, chat. You guys ready to react? Get ready to react and shit, okay? Cause I'm gonna react, and let me know if this is too Gunner loud. Wing, are you playing Project Winter again, and also with Landon's replacement? I don't know. Is this 4K? And 4K? This better be good, chat. Ooh, it looks pretty good. <laughs> that looks pretty good so like far. Being in a firefight and hearing the the click of the no gun, ordinance drops, down, dude. Nice. The wall. My gunner's upside that down. That good. Like laying in, I see kill assist, kill assist, kill assist. Any pistol across any of the games, whatever gun allows me to feel the most like John Wick, I am there. Okay, pistol looks good. I'm gonna go back a little, dude. Let me know how how uh, how loud it is. Feel the most like John Wick, I am there. Remember how excited I was? Yeah, mongooses looks good. With vehicles going all over the place. Halo means something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. They're showing a sniper, dude. Can we just Magnum looks whack? I thought it looked fine. But now, now it's gonna be honest, dude. Halo that was all shots. And for me, it boils down to this tight arena style combat and big team battle, this wide open vehicle infused yes. uh, kind of combat. We're he is spitting. Awesome legacy or classic Halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new mm, players. No ordinance drops, bro. Customize your Spartan, really make That's your fine. super soldier your own. And we're customization is good, journey. chat. They probably, the they'll never be as good as Reach, month month, especially since season, they made multiplayer season, free to play. That's gonna. That shit gonna cost money. We already know that. For me, working through this multiplayer of this game, and the toughest challenge I think was really about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new. They've been we respecting this shit's legacy for like 18 years, dude. Legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like in a in a in a way where you kind of won't notice. What's wrong with like, ordnance oh, drops? Really I just hate when people drop in power Halo. weapons. It changes well everything. Hold on, I'm a pause. Let me get on my go. soapbox real quick. I don't like ordnance drops because a big thing for me in games like Halo and Gears of War is the power weapon dynamic. Power weapons are a a huge balancing factor. Not just balance, but also create like areas where fights take place. Um, expectations for shit like um, in big team battle I guess it doesn't matter so much but I would still like it to be there 
But power weapons are like, okay, we need to go fight for rocket launcher. And they're going to also be a rocket launcher. So we're going to get into a fight. We're going to fight over rocket launcher. Oh, shit. They got rocket launcher. Let's be safe. Um, did we get sniper? Oh, we did get sniper. We sent the guy to get sniper. Power weapons should have set spawns. And they should spawn there on timers. And ordinance drops just are like, boom, I got 20, 20 bitch points because I've been in the corner. <laughs> I'm dropping in my Spartan laser. And it's just like, what the fuck? That's why I don't like ordinance drops. Maybe they could be done well. And in big team battle, it doesn't matter as much because nobody's really like spitting and shit. But I, I like my power weapons on the ground where, they, where they're supposed to be, bro. Just in their spawn, just being power weapons and shit. This pistol looks good. I don't know what you're talking about. The grappling hooks look good. Ooh, the that melee. The, 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 right now, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm, li I'm liking it, it so far, but they haven't sprinted the yet. Earning everything, Sprinting every changes the... Yep, that, okay, there's the sprint. The vision. <laughs> Thank you. And the old found spitting facts. facts. And then also, this is... I, visually, it looks great, by the way. I'm a, I'm a fan of the visuals. Halo, it's really about fair and balanced starts. Okay. So everybody's on equal footing when they come off the rip. Yes. And then... And this is also something I don't like about ordinance drops is that sometimes that can change. Or like they try to do classes. I don't Once know. Once you start running That's... around, it's about scavenging. It's about finding new toys and, and yes. developing your play style as you run through the match. Yes. What makes Halo feel like Halo? Um, I feel like uh, the answer to that question is, is the sandbox. Like the sandbox is Halo. Yes. When we set out to look at. They be saying all the right shit and shit. And the direction of what it is. There's lots of exciting things there because we really wanted to push. What are the things that are true to Halo? What That's are the fine. That fans haven't seen. I love yet? that. Ooh, I like, like that. that too. I like that too. Has the, has also, the they showed. An, I'm gonna everything. pause again. They also showed an example in the last stream of somebody using a plasma to blow an energy sword closer to them and picking it up midair. All that stuff really cool. Um, more interactions with the sandbox is. Uh, the way to go. So they're they're smart. And the grappling hook. Oh, let's go back. The grappling hook getting the hammer. Kind of. That shit's pretty sick. Has the, Did uh, I not rewind fa far enough? I'm gonna Michael rewind push. anymore. The, the grappling hook getting the hammer is sick. What are the things that fans have? And that seen? barrier shield is good. Ooh, is that is bad, sick. But equipment is kind of. I wonder if that's the, also gonna work on objective modes like uh, capture we the skull. Questions to ourselves of. Uh, if you could go after, you know, a power weapon to get a bunch of kills, yes. Uh, would you do that, or could you go and get grapple to make sure that you swing your oh, grapple out of a map to back? Yes, grapple? yes, grapples all. That that means grapple something you have to get on the map, which is very good because I think it would have probably been op. The, the game would have been very different if grapple was something you always had. That means grapples like overshield, which is great. That's a great decision. So far, oh, they, so far they be making decisions, chat. They be making good decisions and shit. We saw it as like another avenue of not just skill expression, but tactics for teams. I don't think of the sub. Six the months exciting here. combinatory and nature content. Of, you know, By the way, I just want the robot voice to it say it this. <laughs> Booty meat. <laughs> Super amazing. Thank you, Antima. Looking at how the power ups play, like your classic power ups, like the overshoot, nice. the active camouflage. For this title, what nice. we're looking at, what we're excited about. Is that for, active camo? Oh, that's overshield. Okay, that's classic stuff. Soulless Phoenix. Oh, you, you choose? I mean, and someone that's fine. Kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield, and then they can take it, use it for themselves. Oh, that's that, yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. Okay, they're making good decisions and shit. We went Did they just decided. ADS with the AR? Yeah, that's... Tr I don't know why Halo feels the need to do that. I can go back and look at that if you want. I noticed it, but to be honest, it's so fucking pointless. Like, <laughs> it's so fucking pointless. I don't know why they feel the need to do I'm just going to go back here. If you haven't used it, and someone drag it off. Uh, I don't think we went far back enough. And then they could take it, use it for themselves. Did that, we? to me, is very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it and modernized it. When it comes to the vehicles, yeah, that's fine. I yeah, like the I like that you pick him up. Super amazing. Looking at how the power ups. Play, I don't remember the when they aimed down like sights, but I do want to camouflage for this title. What we're oh, it's right here. We're excited for is it? You pick that up, and you choose when you activate it. It goes into your inventory if you haven't used it, and someone it's over here then. It's the grenade. Nature. Yeah, they're gonna aim right. down sight here. Let's go, Halo. <sighs> How's your day going, Dodo? Look at how look at how pointless this is. <laughs> I don't know why they feel the need to add this. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, my day's going pretty good. Just normal shooting, and then they're like, oh, fuck, let me aim down the sights real quick. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, okay, bro, that, that did a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> you could have just kept spraying. Maybe it changed his fire rate or something? I don't know. Gunjacks, thank you for the prime. Drop that overshield, and then they can take it. I really control. like Halo that chat, and I know I, it's no Halo is gonna make me feel like it did back in the day, but when I'd like it to at least vehicles, be good. We went in and decided to invest a lot in the the systems. Mr. Mez, thank you, bro. My warthog, What's up? Uh, my my wheels can get blown off. My hood can get blown off. There's different. Can your wheels get blown of off? Oh, that that's sick. And that's something that's brand new. That is, dude, it's looking, it's looking good. It's looking good so far. So when you hit this threshold, the vehicle catches fire, and it's very much, you've got a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time, and you got to choose what you want to do with the last minutes of this vehicle. All we've right. Got a cousin that's Warthog, sick. Which is the Razorback. The back half Razorback. is a like multi-storage compartment that you can put a lot of stuff into. So if you want to put, like, detached turrets, power weapons, fusion coils, objectives, and that is what... Objectives? Really made, uh, okay. ...kick a lot of butt. An MP and campaign. The levels. All right, all right. That's interesting, game, especially for objectives. Is, and they define that iconic fantasy for players. But that guy that was carrying the flag anyway, so that's kind of weird. Um, what type of experience are they hoping to have? What kind of? He was driving the razor back. Available to have that combat in. For me, BTV, this looks good so far. Experiencing. Uh, this is where they're gonna drop the ordinance, dude. Halo in just one match right like you see the vehicles the weapons the equipment we really wanted to take that kind of concept those feels you have big team battle is going to have ordinance like i can feel it games and just turn the volume up vehicles are no longer just spawning at bases anymore yeah we have pelicans delivering them and we have a commander in your ear telling you that pelicans are going to be dropping Let's off go. these vehicles tank is inbound. we have I guess Halo that doesn't count as or Delta Halo mission. Edgy's out thinking of Brian. Fall from the sky to resupply the field. <sighs> That's where it makes it feel like like a real battlefield, and and it's very exciting. This is not just more yeah, players. Man. This is just this certain beautiful slice of sci-fi chaos. At least it's only in big team battle, which, like I said, doesn't matter too much because it's more chaotic. The announcer is your big gameplay moments, your game modes, just like the way it was before. Personal AI is really a reflection Fly of information captured. for the player. Who the fuck is this? So if a player grabs a flag, your personal AI Do people AI not like ordinance? To, I know, don't. That thing back to base <laughs> normally, I don't moment. normally. Our team took the enemy flag. What if we can let players choose their own AI and each one of those are different voices so that players can find the one that fits their personality and their mood the best? They, they add I think that's like short for monetization as a, as a Spartan being more important and, and for us beyond Zella, nice. thank you for the prime thank you for making my days Spartan, better Spartan. let's you go. are you inside of the halo universe the body of customs imagine you could voice your own uh, <laughs> ensures that there will be millions oh the monetization aspects for Spartans on the battlefield that includes things like armor coatings uh, armor emblems various armor effects down to the individual armor pieces. So your shoulders, your gloves, your knee pads, your helmet, your visor, your helmet attachments. I wouldn't be surprised if they did weapons, content creator sleep, AI packs. That wouldn't, there. like Vehicles if, um, have a, have a huge pool I don't know, Shroud or Ninja. We support customization Double kill. in the game. Players can do the same thing on HaloWaypoint.com as well as the Halo Waypoint app. The player also customizes the Spartan, the soldier inside the suit. We want the Spartan to represent the player as much as possible. They can change their body type and their voice, as well as choose prosthetics for the first time. Coatings offer us a unique opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. So we're coming at this from a player first mentality. So what that means is that there's no random loot in this. There's no loot boxes. It's very important to us that everyone understands exactly how they unlock customization content. And we have a variety of places where they can do that. First no off is the boxes. battle pass. The Halo yeah, Battle Pass yeah, there it is. never <laughs> be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, you can purchase old battle passes as well as the current battle pass and choose which battle pass to put your progression towards. 
All of these that are sounds like single source. So <laughs> yeah, but I'd get behind really quickly. <laughs> Thank if you, you Vila, the, the Beyond Zella. House, we're not going to let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. All customization is just cosmetic. Every season will have its own theme and introduce new components, new looks, new gameplay for players, new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. Mm. We've seen the, the samurai already. That's one of our event armor cores. And that's gonna be something that they players- did show, They did make sure to show off the samurai. Free. With us going free to play for the multiplayer part of the game, like that was a big goal because, you know, how do we have a way we can always bring players in, right? And they can, when we have a new update there, there's, They'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only are we free to play, but we're free to play on PC as well as console. And Which is good because Halo is not the super popular. We've ever had. I mean, everybody gets to these play days with no barriers, and even better, your progression carries from one platform to the next. Getting our game to be on PC and console at the same time is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new players about the game. Dang. How can we if do I things like make it cross-play? Dip my toes in a little. Play with your friends. Like, like, some people have PCs. Dip people have my toes in a little. Like, let them talk to each other. Let them be friends. Academy? Am I going to school? Oh, you fuck. To be a Spartan. The Academy is a place that you can go uh, with an MP to kind of onboard into the experience. It's great for newer players who are still picking up the controls and also people oh, who for, want to warm this up. for learning and shit, game. dude. It's a series of experiences, both a tutorial to get started for the first time. Imagine learning, mantling. Items, and also training mode that you can use to just Look at the warm, blood that comes out after their armor too. breaks, too. For players who are new to Halo, That's so much let's better. help them learn what this universe is about. Some of these characters, what, what are they about? And help them learning kind of I ain't know no the vocabulary bitch. <laughs> that people have been speaking for now almost 20 years so that we when they come in there they don't feel like they're behind everyone else they can kind of come in on an even footing vocabulary yeah, just about bots I think they're awesome our goal with bots has been to have a variety of difficulties that kind of provide I don't a good know. training partner I don't know where you're at in the experience Halo vocabulary. Is there a lot of Halo Hearing vocabulary on the road to launch and after launches? I'm trying to think of Halo incredible. vocabulary. <laughs> Halo's always been about the community conversation. Other than just like they shortening sure game modes like CTF. changes where we can based on that feedback. Make sure the game is ready for launch and then even beyond launch. What I'm genuinely excited about is taking the game out of our hands and putting it Sticky. into the community's hands. I guess. You know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge or the content that they're able to create with theater, watching Ooh. streamers go after the game. To get involved, you go to haloinsider.com, put in your info with your gamer tag, and we should be able to reach out to you if we want to invite you to a Halo Infinite flight. Yeah, but that we feel like we've got. I, I mean, I, I guess, I guess that could be, be there for our fans. what they mean, just and like weapon isn't names. Be something that is just a static set of items. We have some new stuff in the works already, and just can't wait I'm to fucking really through get that into shit that at him, bro. As soon as this game comes out, new maps, new modes, new ways to customize your Spartan launches just the beginning. Now we're just going to be able to talk, interact more frequently. And that's just going to be great. Mm, that is the future of Halo mm, Infinite Multiplayer. Mm, Thank mm. you to the community for all their feedback over it the It all looked so good, far. dude. It all looked and, good. Uh, I'm looking forward Most to the well, two launch. I didn't like the big team battle ordinance stuff, but it didn't look as bad because they're just random drops and not something you call in. Okay, fine. Yeah, all this looks good. Yup. Melee, yup. Yup. Yeah, that the grappling hook is sick. And the fact that you can grapple items is sick. Whew. It looks good. I mean, uh, it looks good, dude. I can't deny. I can't deny. It looks good. It looks like it has the... I didn't... I want to see some multi... That's the one thing they didn't... I mean... I want to see some multi-people flying vehicles, dude. Maybe I just missed it. I know they showed some flying vehicles, but are they multi... That's what so my favorite Halo experience is like... You get like three people in like the Falcon, I think it's called. You're just fucking flying around the spire. I'm fucking sock that man, Partnering bro. With our play
players. Hornet? Yeah, okay, maybe it's a, yeah, Hornet. But dude, you gotta get like that's yeah, like know, the fun. One of the things that fans haven't seen yet. Equipment is bad, but equipment is kind of has the has a has a bigger voice than ever before. Equipment changes were nice. I don't know. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty good, dude. I wonder if it'll catch on. <laughs> it is free to play, which I think they had to do. <laughs> it is free to play, which is nice. Battle pass. Halo BR would slap, but chat. I think that's uh, where we should end. I know it was a short stream. Like I said, we'll be back for Nexamon later. And don't worry, we'll go out on some Soul Pupper. Because you guys are feeling good. I just wanted to react to that with you guys since we did all the E3 stuff yesterday. I missed everything. It's how I distract you guys. When is the next I'm on stream? Probably sometime after my upload today. stream what is capcom supposed to be presenting today i mean it's not like it matters i, I can't stay <laughs> but what if they what if they announce mega man x x edition dude i should be there but i can't be there he's moving speed up the playback You're moving, dude. More speed. All right, chat. Uh, I don't know who we're going to rate. Let's rate somebody playing Halo. Oh, my God. Halo uh, Master. All right, let's rate this guy. All right, well, I, I think he's playing in Spanish, so just in case. Xbox is also why is Xbox streaming the Master Chief Collection? Well, he told me that he was just to take the gun, and I said okay, and I accidentally threw up. <laughs> Xbox raid. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. I chat, go uh, raid uh, this guy playing Master Chief Collection. I'll get out of here. Y'all take care. Have yourselves a good one. I'm going to see you in the next one. B bye bye.